The first rays of dawn slanted through the leaves. I tilted back my head and saw the trunks of pines and maples stretch in an unbroken line towards the sky. When you find yourself awash in waves of culture, searching out land to call home. I look held over this place and I think, it's not a city, it's a town and I'm stuck in it. It's supposed to be for English and French, it's not for either. You live in a country that was created not out of nationalistic fervor, but to serve the needs of your British masters. It's not surprising you produce no geniuses, no Bach, no Beethoven. When you have a thousand maps and still don't know where to turn. I remember her waving. I remember. You're living in a different time, Julia. Things aren't like that anymore. If you want to be big, you got to think big, build big, and in five years when this place is transformed, you'll see why the government was right to do what it did. When you think you know all the history, but it doesn't help you in the present. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Captain John Le Breton, veteran of the War of 1812, where I lost half my brain. You with the government? Once the land is in government hands, it may do what it pleases. When you lay claim to a piece of land only to find it already has a life of its own. You know, it's funny. When I first come here, I noted that all around was tedious swamp and all this, and I wrote that this place was unfit for culture. And now, of course, almost 200 years later, it seems I was right. I wonder if we can measure our memories in the same way we measure out a map, drawing lines through our past, rough out roads and blocks. I wonder if we can measure our memories. I've come home to unearth a story, a rolling tale of lava and glaciers, of tropical seas and waterfalls, of whales and white-tailed deer, of Indians and pioneers, of paupers and millionaires, of firestorms and bulldozers, facts and gossip, it's the story, the biography of the field beneath my feet. Every story has borders, and the borders to this story are the four sides of the acre that I stand on here. It's the last page in the book of the land. The last thing we think about, that's going to be where we spend all time. So I'm going to think about this place. What you going to think about, Julia?